at Coffee Chat. That's awesome. I mean, this room is insane. The upstairs, a little lounge area. This stuff is cool. And it's good to have all these kids out here in California. Well, a SoCal kid. Even some Valley kids are down here, so it's good. A lot of wrestling. I like watching the, you know, them drill and go live, all that stuff like that. Hanging out with some coaches upstairs, all that kind of stuff. But it's a great idea. I wish this was around when I was in high school. I mean, I better, but if you look at, uh, you know, coming here, being able to just have a one-stop shop, seventy. 80 kids at your disposal. What is that like for you? How much is it? How much easier does it make your job? I mean, a whole lot easier. A whole lot easier. I mean, because usually if you're during the season, you're going to back and forth all over the place. But these are all the kids you're going to see at Doc B's, Five Counties, all the big Cali tournaments. They're all here working out for two days. So it makes it a whole lot easier. And you're in Southern California. So it's pretty, it's, it's awesome. It makes it a whole lot easier. And the little binder things they have, and all the info and all that. So that makes it a lot easier. What were your expectations coming in? Have you seen any of the coverage on any other stuff? What did you think? I, I haven't. I saw some of the stuff that what was the last week, the uh, two weeks ago. You had, they did one. Georgia, yeah, yeah, Georgia. That looked awesome. And the clinicians here too, like learning some stuff. But so I thought I, I didn't really know what. I didn't have been the Calvary room, so I don't know if it was like a big high school room or a small high school room. But uh, definitely had some good expectations. Some good kids. California. I mean, recruiting California kids is always a good thing. But. So I had some high expectations, definitely meeting all of them, going above and beyond. So, You guys, you know, I talk about the state's got over 40 million people. It's got the most high school wrestlers of any state. You know, is there any doubt in your mind that you guys can just stay in California and get national champs and build build solid teams in San Francisco State? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've done it before, so we, I mean, I think we can. We have a really good redshirt class that's going to be wrestling next year, so we have some studs there. But, I mean, California is a great state to recruit from, and now with Baptist going D2 in a couple of years, we can probably benefit from being the only, or D1, sorry, we can benefit from some of those guys being the only D2 team in California, so it'll be good stuff with that. Looking at it moving forward, you know, you guys have two scholarships. Yeah. You know, some people think you can't win there. You guys can win there. Yeah. You've done it. You yeah. know, if you look at the tradition of the program, you've had state champions, you were an All-American there. What do you guys got to, to, to do, do to get kids and sell San Francisco State tickets? I mean, we just try to get the right kids. I mean, we have we have good kids right now just buying into the vision, the process, and all that stuff, getting those kids up there, um, getting them in the right housing situation, make it uh, affordable for them and all that stuff. But, I mean, we can definitely do it locally. I mean, the East maybe a couple of De La Salle kids on our team. They're a good top 10 California team every year. Um, so, I mean, we can do it in California. We've done it before with less money. When I was wrestling, we, you know, we had Navi when you guys were out there. He was a national champ. So, I mean, it can be done. It's going to take some, you know, these freshman kids that we have we're real excited about. We have our heavyweight coming back. That was top 12 two years ago. He redshirted this year, so it'll be a good year for us. What are you looking for in a kid when you come to this? What What's the... What's the the it factor for San Francisco State to get a guy and recruit him. Yeah, what I like is just that that work ethic, you know. I mean, they're long days. They're going, what, four or five hours of wrestling in one day, and kids are still scrapping, going hard, hand fighting hard, staying excited and motivated to practice. So it definitely looks good for us when we can know that if he's going six, seven hours, or six hours today hard, then we can get him through two and a half, you know, individuals and stuff, wrecking the right mentality and all that kind of thing. So I like seeing the work ethic, definitely the work ethic part. Biggest thing for you guys, work oh, yeah. ethic? Yeah, I like kids that want to get physical and wrestle hard all day, which they're doing all day today, too. So, And then, you know, close with the situation and stuff, that, that's awesome. I love the way this whole thing's set up and ran the live, the drill, and all that kind of stuff. You get a mix of, of everything, situation stuff, and just those matches earlier, so it was good. You get to see it all. See everything. Did you watch the mile run this morning? I didn't. I did not watch the mile run. <laughs> you can watch it. I, I, yeah. I videoed it. But um, when you look for guys like that, is that competitive, or how fast they're going to run a mile? What do you look there? Yeah, I mean, the competitive factor, I mean, there's some kids that just aren't run fast. But, you know, if they're pushing, if they're coming in not breathing hard at the end of it, then you'll probably see things a little different. Like, I mean, this kid's not pushing it. But, I mean, if it's like a six-minute mile or a seven-minute mile, but they're, they're, they're huffing and puffing and pushing themselves, then that, that, I like that. I like the rope climbs yesterday. It's two minutes of rope climbs. That's crazy. I don't even know if I could do one in two minutes. It's pretty crazy, yeah, though. Yeah, And some guys go all the way to the top. Yeah, that's nuts. That's nuts. Yeah, and you fall and break your legs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. pretty crazy. All right, man, you got anything else for me? No, just decided to be here. It's a good thing.